Thank you for tuning in to Watch Sixto. My name's Sixto. Today is my watch strap change. Got this off of uh, Amazon. It's a nice little silicone base uh, rubber strap. I was gonna swap it out with this guy for because it has this little feature. Let's see if I can get it. It's a butterfly clasp. I got the waffle, almost like the waffle texture on, on this little guy. And somewhat on this new one. Now I'm actually on the crossroad if I should just get rid of the buckle and tang for this one. Because this one comes with the quick release spring bars on, on the new one. As you can see there. Then this one does it. So deciding, deciding. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm just gonna. See if I could remove this spring bar. Mm, this watch strip. There's that. Slide that one in. Uh, the right pusher. There's that. There. Let's see. This room bar a little too big, maybe. Yeah, this room bar a little too big for that one. Thought I had it. Oh. 
And here we go. Not too bad. Me personally, I would recommend you going for either this kind of style of uh, silicone strap or if you prefer the buckle, buckle and tang, but if you're rocking it on the leather strap, me personally, I would say go with this. This will pres uh, preserve the life of the leather strap. So you won't be forced to keep on uh, putting all that pressure, especially when, when this guy is always digging into the rubber strap on both ends. Because when you're trying to get the, the tang out, the little tongue that sticks in there, you gotta do this. You put all that unnecessary wear and tear on. Well, it's necessary because you gotta take the watch off. Uh, and you start putting wear and tear on your strap. Then these holes on the on the bottom side, you start seeing uh one the uh, like for example like how you see these holes are you start seeing too much pressure on one from excess use they'll be out of shape then pretty soon that would rip off so that's my two cents on i strongly recommend or looking into uh getting uh yourself a quick release uh, whatever deployment you could find for a leather strap if you prefer put in a, a diver a, a diver silicone one with the actual main uh, deployment class like how you see Rolex use on their Yacht Master series even they put it on their sub or how uh, Omega has theirs have it on for their their certain Seamasters where they have the color straps or pinstripes on the side. But let me know what you guys think if uh, if I'm literally talking out of the side of my head or do you guys think I have a point on preserving the leather strap for a longer uh, wearable time. Until the next one, uh, thank you for watching. You guys have a great, uh, great time whenever whatever this video comes up. And until the next one, you guys have a good one. Bye.